Well, good morning guys. Beast here. Another cup of coffee. Another great review and beautiful day here in Central Oregon. Studio slash garage. You can see the mess in the background. Uh, what I want to do is talk about some motorcycle gear. So you're going to see a couple videos coming up. And I'll put a little link up here, but I had a previous video that's got a lot of views on it. And it's, talk about, it's talking about fog management and moisture management in your motorcycle helmet. If you guys have followed the channel for a long time, you know that I've been riding motorcycles for a very long time. And that includes nearly daily delivering whether I run to the store or not. When I lived in Seattle year round, as long as there wasn't snow and ice on the ground, I still do it around here. My friends, when I go help out the ranch, they still can't believe that I ride the motorcycle in the mornings. It's super cold, still frosty out on the irrigation pipes, but I show up and I help because I got my lunch and my gloves and why not take the motorcycle? It's a beautiful morning. But again, year round, Seattle or not, fog is always going to be an issue, in the, even in the best helmets. Um, helmets, motorcycles in general, you always are going to have pros and cons. You're never going to have the perfect thing. You know, from adventure bikes, you're either going to have more street oriented or dirt oriented. And the helmets are the same way. I love my Shoei X2. I still think it's one of the best helmets out there. It's a little heavy, heavy but the sound deadening is great. All the features are really good. And it is pin lock. So when you go look at this video talking about managing fog, I talked about pin locks are huge. Right, that's that double pane window built into your visor that helps create that temperature difference so your hot breath isn't condensating directly into your visor and impeding your vision. 80% though, physically blocking that condensation, that hot breath from hitting your visor, just keeping it in a neoprene, sort of this is the foggy, um, you know, there's several different companies that do it. They Velcro into the cheek pads and you can get your head in and out of the helmet and these stay in. So anytime, alternate, if I think it's going to be cold, going over mountain passes, doesn't matter what it is. Even some of those visors, you got to crack just a little bit to get a little bit of fresh air in there. But when I did that video, I was approached by, hence the title, WePro, um, who makes a really cool visor. And I agreed to test it and I've been testing it over the last year. Let's jump into me installing it a year ago. Alright guys, sorry for the reflections. It's always difficult trying to do something shiny like this. But the WePro Universal Anti-Fog Insert has got some pretty cool things going on. So one of the things you're going to get is an instruction manual. And it's going to tell you exactly how to put it on. But so far, what I'm slightly reading, I am a man, so I don't like reading instructions. Alright guys, we removed the red tag label and I'm going to remove these two little stickers over there and I'm going to find a placement, which is really hard to do with the tripod here. But I'm going to try. Again, not the easiest thing um, to try to film. But I think I got it fairly even. It's going to be pretty tight tolerance up here. And I can't get it down any further until it hits sort of the O gasket, or the, the main face gasket here. So I think that's going to be it. So what this is going to allow you to do is now this is lined up. Now I can take the visor off the helmet and insert that nice and cleanly onto the visor itself without trying to worry about getting it through the helmet and where it's going to line up. Now I'm going to take their cloth that they provide make sure this is absolutely spotless on the inside because if I seal this with any sort of smear or dirt I have already washed it I'll make sure this is super clean on the inside now see if we can get this lined up and I know it's not going to work on camera very well but I'm going to try all right again using the fabric we want to make sure that these edges are sealed kind of from the middle out. All right, well, there you go. Kind of the, they're never easy to put on. Try to use the cloth. There's still protective film on this right now. I haven't pulled that off yet, but uh, you can tell at least with the showy, I run out of room here and then just the shape of the shield. I'm right here at the edge on both sides. So I'm hoping it doesn't interfere. Now the neat thing is this plastic is supposed to absorb moisture. So it isn't necessarily a lock screen that acts kind of like a you know, storm window in your house, a double pane window to keep that outside temperature inside fog separated. 
by some air. Now that does happen here, but this plastic is also made out of kind of special plastic that is essentially supposed to absorb the moisture. All right, we're gonna call that good. Let's pull that protective layer off. Let's pull the line up and let's just kind of see. Looks pretty clear. Now the other thing you have to really be careful about is any sort of dirt or grime on these. Again, this plastic is gonna be extremely soft. So don't ever, you know, directly use harsh cleaners or anything else. Now let's see if this will get back in the helmet. All right, not sure it could be any tighter or any closer. Again, right here on the edge on both sides and pretty close to the bottom. Now luckily, the again, the showy has kind of a clasp you can see over here so it really locks that down against the seal so you get a good seal on the helmet not a lot of wind noise now it just depends on testing stay tuned as you can see the only issue i've ever had with those inserts is they are never they're kind of a universal fit they, they aren't designed i if more of you guys buy this product which i truly believe fast forward to the end i really like this product um if more of you guys can buy this and support him, maybe he can get more shapes and things like that that are going to help fit a little bit more. You know, years ago, there used to be the Fog City and things like that that I had tried. The plastic was horrible. It was soft. It scratched easily. You still got that glare. The reason I tried every cream and puff and spray to keep the fog down inside the visor uh, that we talked about in that other video is they either didn't work, you had to reapply them too often, or they left a hazy film. Especially if you're in those lower fall, winter, the sun's lower, you're riding more in sort of dark conditions, a lot of headlight glare. Uh, it's just downright dangerous as well as annoying, and it doesn't work just to keep the fog down. So a lot of us end up obviously flipping the visor open, especially when you're going to lower speeds, you just can't manage that fog. So then your eyes get cold, your eyes water. If you guys have been riding year round in you know inclement weather or up over the mountain passes, being out when you probably shouldn't be on two wheels like I am, you're gonna love this product. So we pro, let's dive right in. Let me show you what it looks like now, just right off my helmet. I've got sitting here over a year of sitting on the helmet. All right, guys, here is the Showy X2. Still, I think hands down one of the best helmets on the market for adventure uh, touring. And right now, what you're gonna see is how it fit on this. Now, like I mentioned before, the Showy is pin locked, so I can run my own Showy insert, but the plastic of the Wii Pro actually does a really good job of. And if you can see, there's just a little bit of residual moisture. That's how foggy it would be without this. So here's me. Hi. There's me. No fog. There's the no. There's the fog line. And I'm just getting a little bit of moisture right here. I'll I don't want to say absorbing the moisture, but it that's really what it is designed to do is any fogginess that I got in there really kept minimally to just right down here around the nose. But as you can see, it's not a terrific fit. I did have to trim it a little bit down there. And then of course, just to get it in the very tight fit of the showy, uh, it did work around there. I've got a little piece that is uh, just coming off. If you can see right here, it does not really want to stick right there. But because of the Wii Pro and the fact that it really kind of absorbs that moisture, um, it did a fantastic job. I still really like it. You can see how it just doesn't really fit perfectly. Uh, the sides are coming off right on the end. Now I do have two. Um, and even the showy one is the, the pin lock. I really get about a full year, maybe two, before I'm looking to replace it. So these aren't permanent solutions, but I would buy one of these for every riding season and just put a fresh one in. About a year later, you can see that glue starting to come off on some of the side tabs. But the neat thing is the plastic that this is made out of, it absorbs that moisture so well. A quick insert here of the other day when I was riding on a very cold morning, he heading out to the ranch, you know, there's still frost on the irrigation uh, canals and things like that and it did a beautiful job. You know, your hands are gonna get cold, you're gonna want to stop riding before this thing fogs up. Even on really long trips, um, taking this on the FJR, those cold trips, eventually, some of that fog and that breath, that microclimate that you create in your helmet is gonna get through. And I'm not saying the showy pin lock didn't do a good job, but the material that the Wii Pro is made out of does a really good job. It's sort of, 
I mean, that's the only way I can describe it is that it's absorbing that moisture and I only have just that narrow little band and it doesn't affect my vision. This thing did not scratch uh, like a lot of the other ones do, especially you dual sport venture helmet guys. You know that even your normal visor, when you're riding on and off the trail, you're going to get that dust accumulated. When you go to clean that, it's going to create micro scratches and it's going to destroy it. And those pin locks are no different. It's the reason every other year I probably get a new pin lock the showy one for the X2. I do have a spare one of these. I'm probably gonna put that one in for the following winter coming up um, for riding. I'll continue to ride this. The other thing is a lot of times with the pin lock, I would just pop it out because um, I didn't, I was worried about destroying it with the summer riding. And I have it, I've left this in for full testing. Um, again, check them out. I'll put a link down below. I really, really like those, especially if you don't have a helmet that is set up for pin locks. For me, it's sort of a catch-22 because I really like showies, but they're quite expensive, um, and they don't do the same absorbing moisture the way the WePro does. Um, if more of us can buy this from WePro, uh, perhaps they'll get you know a better defined, maybe multi-version that you can get you know in your helmet that'll fit different helmets better, um, or just have a trimmable one. I, I'm not really sure, but I really like it. Let me know if you guys heard of it. Obviously, between my last video and this video, there's not a lot that you can do past there to keep the fog down. Um, for those of you guys that just keep riding on two wheels, be safe out there, and we'll see you on the road. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media and we'll see you on the road.